What's happening, Gaylord Scripture? Um, go and get yourself a pen and a bit of paper, okay? Share this video before you go and get it, because it's the Fuck Goals Coming Home Podcast Wars 2021 Christmas Quiz. Alright, yeah, thanks. Hello to all my subscribers, old and new. Um, yeah, just crack straight on, okay? So this is the quiz. What I've wanted to do now, we'll uh, go through the questions. There's 20 questions. Write your answers down. You'll have to mark them yourselves or swap them with your partners. And, um, and then there'll be a tie-break question at the end. So I'm going to have to trust you, right? In the comments, put down what you get out of 20 and your answer to the tie-breaker. And there'll be a prize for the winner. Probably a live appearance on the channel next year. All right. Have to bear with me because I can't see very well these glasses. Question one. How many youngers did Dan Daniel Lazar threaten to unleash on Marvin Irva? Okay. Question two. To the nearest thousand... Uh, how many subscribers does James English have? Now, I'll allow you a thousand either way, okay, to be correct there. Eh? Question three. Dr. Rackpole is the mayor of which London borough? <clears throat> Question four. <coughs> when fighting trolls bought a train ticket to Birmingham to fight Darren G., what city was Darren G actually in that weekend? Okay, question five. What was the name of Daniel Lazar's dog? Question six. All right, um, if you need me to recap any questions, I'll go through them all at the end while I answer them. <coughs> question six. If you haven't got a pen and paper, just... You know, press fucking pause and go back to the start. Question six. What was the name of Danny Christie's fair play man in his fight with Decker Heggie? Question seven. What does the K stand for in Uncle K? Question eight. Who is the most unbiased person on YouTube? <clears throat> Question nine. When Liam Ditchie fam famously treated a homeless man to garlic mushrooms, what other delicacy did the lucky man receive? Question ten. Which feature of his nan's garden did Dan of Fighting Draw Trolls claim Costs more than your house. Number 11. Which podcaster regularly uses the phrase, it is what it is? Question 12. What is the real name of Sean Atwood's best friend, Wild Man, who sadly passed away this year? R.I.P. Question 13. What podcaster regularly broadcasts from his shed? Question 14. Which podcaster this year talked about wanking on a train? Question 15. Which podcaster coined the phrase, For what? For what? Question 16. Which podcaster has a collection of shields, swords, and other medieval artifacts? Uh, question 17. Who sung the original of Karma Corner's uh, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, intro? Who sung the original of that song? I think I've got the right answer here. But I'm sure somebody will pull me up if I haven't. Uh, question 18. Paul from Fighting Trolls 
intends building a studio next year for his podcasts. But where? <coughs> Where's the studio going to be? Question 19. What channel was described this year as the Thinking Man's Podcast Review Channel? And question 20. What does the G stand for in Newcastle YouTubers uh, named Scott E.G.? Right, so I'll just go back through those 20 and give you the answers. You can mark them. As I say, put your totals in the comments and I'll give you the tie-break question in case it's a draw after this. Okay, so ready to mark? If you're with somebody else in the room and you're both doing it, swap papers. No cheating. You're only cheating yourselves. Um, question one. How many youngers did Daniel Lazar threaten to unleash on Marvin Herbert? 100. 100 youngers. Uh, all from Camden Stock, I believe. Question two. To the nearest 1,000, how many subscribers does James English have? So at the time of recording this, uh, he was on 309,000. So I'll accept 308, 309, 310 as the correct answer. Number three, Dr. Rackpool is the mayor of which London borough? That's Hackney, of course. Big up the Rackpool. Number four, when fighting trolls bought a train ticket to Birmingham to fight Darren G, which city was Darren G already in that weekend? That was Glasgow. I do believe he was going to go looking for Sausage Neck, but changed his mind. Number five. What was the name of Daniel Lazar's dog? Uh, I believe that's Dolly. Uh, not 100%. I'm taking another channel's word on that. Covid TV. Big up yourself. What was the name of Danny Christie's fair play man in his fight with Decker Heggy? That's Paul Venice. And big up Paul. Like watching his channel. Number seven. What's the case stand for an Uncle Kate? I believe it's killer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Big up Uncle Kate. Who's the most unbiased person on YouTube? Ronan. Number nine. When Liam Ditchie famously treated a homeless guy to garlic mushrooms, what other delicacy did the lucky man receive? Onion rings. Oh, onion rings and garlic mushrooms. Living a dream, as uh, Liam told him. Numbers. Hold on a minute. Jumping the gun a bit, yeah, aren't we? Number 10. What feature of his garden did Dan of fight, Fighting Trolls claim cost more than your house? That was his gates. Or her gates. Or her late gates. And now his gates, apparently. What podcast that regularly uses a phrase, it is what it is? And the correct answer is fucking all of them. Number 12, what was the name of Sean Atwood's best friend, wild man, who sadly passed away this year? Peter Mahoney. R.I.P. Peter. Condolences to Sean and your family. Uh, 13, which podcaster regularly broadcasts from his shed? Paddy Conroy. Hello, Paddy. Which podcaster this year talked about wanking on a train? Uh, that was Decker Heggie. 15. Which podcaster coined the phrase, For what? For what? It's Marvin Herbert. Good evening, Marvin. Which podcaster has a collection of shields, swords, and other medieval artifacts? That's the real Danny G. Evening to you, sir. 17. Who sang the original of Karma Corner's woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo 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 intro? Now, I believe that's the five, six, seven, eights. I think it was in Kill Bill 1. But 
That may have been a cover version, so if somebody can correct me on that, I just couldn't be asked to do any more research. 18. Paul from Fighting Trolls intends building a studio next year, but where? And that's going to be in his mum's shed. Or what he says is more of a summer house. Big up, Paul. What channel was described this year as the Thinking Man's podcast review channel? That was Foot Golf's Coming Home. And number 20, what does the G stand for in Newcastle YouTuber's name, Scotty G? And that's James. Okay, so, you know, tot up your scores. Put your scores in the comments, right? No lying, you know, fuck's sake. You know, it's not big or clever to cheat. Put your scores uh, in there, right? And put your answer to this as well. Don't, you know, we can all go and find this out like I've had to, but don't bother cheating, right? The tiebreak question, in seconds now, not minutes. How many seconds was the Dekahegi and Christy fight? How long did it last? From the first punch to the handshake. I tried uh, timing it. So from the first punch to the handshake, how many seconds? As I say, you're only cheating yourself. <clears throat> if anybody gets 20 out of 20 and gets that right to the nearest second, then I'm just going to fucking delete your comment anyway, because you probably cheated. Uh, so, yeah, so put your answer to the tiebreaker in seconds, right, for uh, Fighting Trolls viewers. Seconds, right, in a minute is 60 seconds. So for each minute, add 60 up. And if there's any seconds left over, add that on the end, right? Okay, so that was the Fuck Golf's Coming Home first annual Podcast Wars Christmas quiz. Um, just like to wish, you know, a Merry Christmas to all, all the channels, all the podcasters, the YouTubers, all the people who go on the lives, watch the lives, all my subscribers, my mum, my dad, my agent, uh, my kids, everybody down to Fuck Golf, uh, my first football manager, my teacher. Um, Peggy Babcock, Winston Chickleworthy, Jeff Hurdle the um, yeah, everybody just wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, now there's been a lot of beef this year, and this year has been the Chinese year of the beef. Um, you know, let's try and next year, let's just all try and get on. No, let's just all try and get on because there's a lot of mental health issues going about. We don't want anybody. Giving it all out, do we? You know, let's all try and get on. Share this video. Get your answers in the comments. Put your answer to the tiebreaker. There will be a prize, probably a live appearance on this channel next year uh, when I take it up a notch. Share the channel. Ring the bell. Good luck. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I forgot more. I always say at the end. All the best, hairy chest. Fishing through the snow.